BMW, Audi, Lexus, Tesla, all well known for their connected car tech. They better be at those prices. But what about the rest of us? Just because we haven't got so many bucks, we can't get distracted? Are we stuck with an iPod cable and a CD changer? Oh, no, no, no. I'm Brian Cooley with my top five cheap connected cars. Cars that have connected tech in the dash, but only cost between the mid 14s and mid 20s CNET style. Number five, the Scion FRS. This is the priciest car on our list and actually has fairly limited app support, but far and away it's the most capable road car, so factor that in. Now, if you get the bespoke head unit upgrade, you can view Facebook timelines, update Facebook, post tweets, DM people on Twitter, and do other things that'll make it a flat race to see who lives longer, you or your lease. Yelp is in there as well, and done up CNET style, this guy's only about 26.1. Number four, the 2014 Kia Soul, the new one. It's the newest car on our list and one of the very few cars that uses Android to run the in-dash head unit. It'll let you split that screen to have two apps vying for your attention at once. It's also got the Android web browser in there, though not while you're moving. All of this will either be hot or just a hot mess. I'm not sure, so I'm going to keep it down here at number four until the vehicle's out and I get my hands on one. I'm ballparking it around 21 grand CNET style. Number three, the 2013 Chevy Spark. Once folks stop pointing at you, you'll get the last laugh. Properly configured, your little Spark can have Apple Siri integration, that's a first, Bringo connected navigation in the dash via a phone app, and tune-in support, so you can be among the first generation to have no idea what a car radio antenna is. There's also support for the OnStar app to remotely find your little car in case someone set a box in front of it or something. About 14.5 CNET style. Number two, the Prius C, the little Prius. We gave this guy a CNET editor's choice because it is one all around, fun running, fuel sipping, internet connecting son of a gun. And it's our list's only hybrid. Now, when you option it with Entune, you get a handful of well-known apps all cloud-loaded by Toyota as a batch. No fiddling around loading and tweaking each one. Just get in there and use them. And it works with a slew of smartphones. About 23.4 CNET style. Now, my number one connected car on a budget, if just on the number of apps alone, is the 2013 Ford Fiesta. Now, this car doesn't even offer my Ford Touch. It uses good old-fashioned sync and in the process rolls up this industry crushing total of 39 apps and counting. You see, Ford just became the first car company, beating GM by a few hours, to open up its platform to developers. So the Fiesta will remain his connectedness for a long time. A Fiesta trimmed up CNET style with all 39 apps and a sunroof won't even hit 19 grand. Now, competition in this category is fierce, with imminent new offerings on the way as we tape today from Honda, Kia, Chrysler. So stay on top of CNET's unique car tech reviews there at cars.cnet.com. I'm Brian Cooley. Thanks for watching.